So what's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah. And how long have you been out on the streets, Rebecca? Five years now. Five years. Mm. Where do you sleep? Uh, it depends. There's a few places I can go. I can only go to like there's underpasses. Um, there's one down over there by the tree. There's a little pass over there basically. And there's two down there, and there's another one around the corner there. So, or I go to like the night shelter basically. If you can get the, the funds get the for it. If I get the £12 a night for it. Alright, and how hard is it to get £12 out here? I've made £2 a day so far, certainly. I've been here since lunchtime. Yeah. But it's hot weather like this, people don't really Serious. want to help you and that, yeah. Mm. So, so people don't understand the struggles you're going through? Not really, at mm. all. So they just look at me thinking oh, I do something wrong, I'm on drugs or I'm, I must be on alcohol. Mm. That's what I tend to find a lot of people think. Yeah. So why is it that you're out here? So I was in care and then basically when you hit 18 they have to look after you no more so they kicked me out and made me homeless. Alright, so since 18 you've been out on the streets? Yeah, I'm 25 on August 16th. August 16th? Yeah. Man, that's in Two weeks 14 days, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. 13 days. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, it's my birthday. So, so how come you put in care with your parents? Yeah, I don't know where my parents are. So they left you? Yeah. So the reason why you're on the streets is because my your parents, parents who were supposed to look after you, left you, put you in care till you was 18, and then the care doesn't look after no one past 18 years old. So what did they do to help you get a job? Or no, I had a job, I had a job and everything, but I was living in a B&B at the time in Southampton. And then because I lost the B&B, I lost my job. So oh, right. Because I had no address. So when you're homeless, you can't get a job, you need an address to get a job. Okay. So then, yeah, Argos, basically I was working for Argos. So how come so, you couldn't get another B&B? So, because I, I didn't have enough notice, basically I didn't get enough notice time to find a place. And so, then they all fell up, and then, yeah, I lost it. So you just lost it. A shit out of bad luck. Yeah, basically. So what is the government doing to help people in your situation? They did come up with no second night out, but because originally when I was in Kent I got moved around a lot, I'm not originally from London, so I had my local connection. So I had to spend at least a year and a half out here with me and my dog for a year and a half. So they before. tell you you have to at least be on the streets for a year and a half? They don't encourage you that, they tell you to go back to wherever you come from. To get the streets though? So basically, yeah. So but if you stay here then you're alright, because I had nowhere to go, I could go back to Southampton. I've got nothing in Southampton, so I yeah. come here basically. And how does it make you feel that people just walk past you, you know, hundreds and thousands of people a day and they don't even, you know, share no sympathy for you? It's up to them at the end of the day, but it's not nice. It's not <laughs> it's nice. There's some spiteful people out there as well that will give you mouth and never go at you. Like, things like what? So, I've been told that I should go kill myself. I've been told that basically I'm just a wrong un and I'm a homeless tramp. Like that, so. so they're judging you without even knowing you? Basically, yeah. Mm, have you ever felt like doing anything negative to yourself before? So, a few times I've been depressed and that, so, but I've got Buffy, so I'm lucky. So it keeps me going, really. Mm. So, yeah. so if, if someone was to offer you any form of help, what would you like right now? Just a way of getting like an address, some kind of way, or something like that. So, it's anything, it's anything to help to not be judged. Give me that one chance, give someone that chance, opportunity to show to them that they can. Mm.